I felt your pain when I saw your post tonight. And God has given me a word of, of comfort and edification to give to you. And if I go to bed tonight and don't give it, then it'll be held to my account. The word of God says in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter and the 13th verse, that there is no temptation that has taken us, but such is common unto men, but God is faithful and will not allow us to be tempted above that which we are able, but will with the temptation make a way of escape that we might be able to bear it. Apostle Paul was basically saying that pain, heartache, betrayal is universal. Anyone who cometh into the world, anyone who comes into the world, is destined by the same force, by the same power that causes us, causes us to feel joy, and causes us to feel gladness, and causes us to feel fulfillment by the same power and the same thing that makes the sun rise the same thing makes the sun set the same thing brings death the same thing brings loss the same power that causes us to gain and to experience the joy of gaining causes us to experience loss it's the inevitability of this life. It's the rite of passage, it's passage and the cost that we have to pay to live in this existence. It's the inevitable cost of the sin of Adam that the pleasures of this life have to be, cannot be, take it for granted because with pleasure there is pain and I don't want to be all cliche you know but Frankie Beverly said joy and pain and sunshine and rain and there's nothing more true than that you know um, Jesus says that it rains on the just and the unjust but the question is not so much as are we going to experience joy and are we going to experience great pain and are we going to experience betrayal those aren't the questions those are inevitabilities the question God poses to us and the question God poses to you is in the midst of pain, in the midst of heartache, in the midst of seemingly suffering and great distress and trauma and, and um, to our minds and in the midst of all of this happening, are we going to obey God? Are we going to finish our course? Are we going to do what it is we were created to do? Or is our fulfilling our assignment from God conditional to the pain that we have to experience? That's the question. You know, that's part of turning the page of the next day. Are we going to do what we're supposed to do? Are we going to fight? Or are we going to lay down and say that it's no use? Or are we going to say one more day, one more chance? I'm going to try it one more time that's the question you know because we're we we are all all 
are subject to the same loss, the same pain. And you know, money, prestige, affluence, fame, none of the things that we think will insulate us from joy or from pain or from loss, from loss or from betrayal or from agony or from defeat, none of the things that we think will insulate us from those things actually do. The people who have money, fame, affluence, don't have the security of not experiencing heartache. The greatness that God has ordained in you is totally in your hands. It's in our hands. The destiny that God has written in heaven for us the Jeremiah 29 and 11 for I know the thoughts that I think towards you thoughts of good and not evil thoughts uh, 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 not to destroy you but to bring you into an expected end it's literally in our hands whether we believe it amen love you and I'm praying with you praying for you I want you to pray for me too because I go through the same things. Love you. Have a good night.